Hey everyone, what is going on? My name is Laprentis and I help health conscious consumers remove toxic products from their life so they can achieve true wellness, all right? And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you why the Sani water is so bad. Specifically, I have seven things you need to know about the Sani water and exactly why it is so bad for you. So let's get started. All right, so the first reason why Dasani is bad for you and probably one of the biggest ones is it's an oxidant. It's oxidizing us and it's creating inflammation, aging, and sickness within the body. Let me show you real quick. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pour some Dasani water. And at the same time, I'm gonna pour this other water that we have here just to show the differences between something that's actually good for you versus something that's not good for you. All right, and the first thing we're gonna look for is antioxidants in our water. Our healthy water that we're consuming and drinking, it should have a good amount of antioxidants because that is gonna reduce inflammation, it's gonna reduce aging, it's gonna keep your skin cells and cells in general looking younger, and it's gonna reduce the chance of having to deal with any toxins in our body. We deal with toxins all the time from the air that we breathe, from our cell phone, the electronics around us, um, the foods that we eat. And so we need antioxidants in our body to push out those toxins, reduce that inflammation, and ultimately ensure our cells stay healthy. All right. So just to show you how bad it is, I'm going to use this meter right here. It's an ORP meter. It stands for Oxidative Reduction Potential or the potential to reduce oxidation. Now, if there's a positive number that shows up on this, that means it's oxidizing, it's creating aging and inflammation in the body. And any inflammation, so any itis, so if you have a tendonitis, if you have bronchitis, any type of itis, that's inflammation happening, okay? And so this Dasani water is actually helping you get more inflammation in the body. So let's go ahead and do that test real quick. Go ahead and show you what's going on with this water. All right, so you see that number? That number is positive, right? So that means it's creating aging. Does not matter how positive the number is, but this one is pretty positive. So that means it's creating aging in the body, creating an inflammation. And your water shouldn't do that to you. It should be helping you, right? In the meantime, when I put it in this electrolyzed reduced water, something that's a little bit different, it is showing a negative number. And that means it is doing a good job at being an antioxidant, and it will actually do a great job at pushing those toxins, reducing that inflammation, so you got a healthier body, all right? So that is the first one. As you can see, Dasani is not good at that, and so any inflammation you have, if you're drinking Dasani, it's probably helping keep it there. All right, the second thing, second reason why Dasani water is bad for us is because of alkalinity our body has to remain in a slightly alkaline environment. No matter what, it's gonna do it, right? So uh, doctors will tell you that your blood must stay a 7.365 and it will do that, all right? So you don't have to worry about that. The question though is, are you drinking things that are is helping you do that or is your body having to put in the work for you? So we have pH drops and pH stands for potential hydrogen, right? And so, with there being no hydrogen in this water, when we put a few drops in here, it's gonna show up yellow. Now, if you look at our chart, yellow means that this is acidic and it's actually eating the electrolytes, eating the minerals that we need to survive. So, if this is, if our body is 75% water and we are consuming something that's eating electrolytes, our body is still gonna get those electrolytes. So it's just gonna start pulling it from you. All right, it's gonna start pulling it from our skin. So we're gonna have different skin issues that arise. We're gonna end up having, yeah, different health issues that come up. It's gonna start taking it from our bones, okay? And so this is how we end up getting osteoporosis. This is how we end up breaking a hip. Our bones get brittle as time goes on. And if we get to the right older ages, this is how Alzheimer's happens because it's gonna start taking it from our brain. We don't want that to happen. So you wanna drink something that is not acidic, but you wanna drink something that is actually alkaline. That's good for the body. And as you can see on our chart there, this is showing a nice purple. And so 
when it comes to drinking something that's actually alkaline, you want to make sure that it is in those purples, okay? Now, that is it as far as alkalinity. You need those good minerals once again. You don't want something that's eating the minerals inside of you. You want something that's actually either providing those minerals or keeping it stabilized so you don't have your body taking them from you. All right, the third thing is superior hydration. So what am I saying by that? What I am saying is the Sani water that we're drinking, it doesn't really hydrate us. It makes you feel thirsty. In fact, if you drink a whole bottle of it at one time, it just sits in your stomach, right? And it's because the water molecules that are in the Sani water are not small enough to actually hydrate you at a cellular level. So what is happening instead, not all of them are. So you're getting about 15% hydration from the water that we're drinking, right? So you want your water to hydrate you at a cellular level. So it can push out those toxins, provide you with the nutrients that you actually need so your body can start feeling good, start feeling healthy, and so you feel hydrated. So the best way I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick, and this is a sample, is I'm gonna use a tea bag. And this tea bag is gonna represent our body, it's gonna represent us trying to hydrate ourselves. And as you see here, when I put the sunny water over the tea bag, it doesn't make tea. And I know what you're thinking, you're like, you know what, LaPrentis? That's not how you make tea, you have to boil the water. But why do we have to boil it? We gotta boil it because we make the water molecule so small that it's actually able to pass through the tea bag and make tea. But the water that we're drinking, it shouldn't have to do that because our cells are so much smaller, right? And so we should be drinking water that actually hydrates us at a cellular level. And as you can see, the Sani clearly is not doing that. I know what you're thinking, you're probably thinking it's a trick, but let me go ahead and show you again. Doesn't matter what bottle you grab, doesn't matter the size, the Sani water is not going to be able to hydrate us at that cellular level. So. What's gonna end up happening is it sits in your stomach, right? <laughs> and then you're like, man, I drank all this water. Why am I still thirsty? Why is my body giving me the signal that I'm still thirsty? And it's simply because it's not entering your cells. And so your brain is trying to tell you, it's like, hey, I'm thirsty, I'm thirsty. And it's simply not working. So you want the right water that's actually going to get small enough to hydrate you. So. That is the third reason, superior hydration. It's not doing it. All right, so the fourth reason why Dasani water is bad for you is because of the chemicals in the water. Your water shouldn't have any chemicals. It should just be water, right? So first off, looking at the back of this, which you should always do for all the waters that you're consuming, this is made by reverse osmosis, which means they are taking everything out of it. So not only the bad stuff, but the good minerals as well. And then they're adding in magnesium sulfate, which is essentially Epsom salt. Like, go to the store, look at Epsom salts, look at the back of the ingredients, magnesium sulfate, same thing. Uh, next up, they add potassium chloride. Now this is a water softener, also to replace salt. But it's a water softener for the reverse osmosis water. It comes out hard, potassium chloride, softens the water so you can consume it. And in case that salt was enough, we'll just add salt in there, right? So these chemicals, they're inorganic minerals that your body is not gonna take in, which is gonna lead to the next reason why you should not drink this Dasani water and why Dasani water is bad for you. All right, so number five, the fifth reason why Dasani water is bad for you is the health issues that leads to drinking too much of this water with all the chemicals that are in it it can lead to gastrointestinal issues, gastrointest gastrointestinal issues, skin irritations, and metabolic alkosis. This is what your doctor is saying when you drink too much alkaline water. It's not really alkaline. It just has all the inorganic material, inorganic minerals in it, and your body doesn't know what to do with it. And so you end up going through different things, and when you drink too much, you actually induce vomiting and things like that, and it's ultimately not good to drink this water not large portions of it anyhow so yeah there you go that's number five drinking too much definitely leads to health issues and you shouldn't have that with your water 
Number six, we're almost there. The sixth reason why this water, why Dasani water is not good for you is because of the plastic is in. You feel this plastic? You probably don't feel it, but you hear it, right? It's flimsy, it's cheap. Why? We don't know when this was made, right? <laughs> it could have been months, it could have been years, but water is a scavenger. And when it mixes with this plastic, it creates a carcinogen known as xenoestrogen. 75% of men and women who have breast cancer have too much xenoestrogen in their body. So, drinking this water, if you let it sit out in the sun, or you don't even know when you get it, tastes like plastic, more than likely it is building up that xenoestrogen in there. It is a known carcinogen, and it ends up leading to different health issues that you simply do not want. It's another reason why we shouldn't be drinking Dasani. All right, everyone. You finally made it. This is reason number seven why Dasani water is bad for you. So despite the other six reasons, despite the ORP and it's being aging and inflammation for the body, despite the alkalinity, how it's actually acidic and it's eating the electrolytes, despite all the chemicals they're adding to the water that you don't really need to add to good water, <laughs> despite the health issues that it can bring and the cancer causing issues, you're paying for it. That is reason number seven. You're paying for water. We are paying for water. That's ultimately harming us. That's creating more harm than good. So you're not only paying for it from buying the bottle, we're gonna pay for it by going to a hospital. We're gonna pay for it because we're gonna have this inflammation, we're gonna have different issues that come up. And then we're gonna have to go see a doctor. And then we're gonna have to do a copay, we're gonna have to pay a bill of some kind. We're paying for it because we're losing our health and wellness and our family is not going to have us as long. They're not going, they're not, we're not gonna be able to do as much as we want to be able to do because we have these health issues. And so we're paying for it financially, socially, mentally, it's draining, and we're ultimately paying for it. That is the seventh reason. It's probably the biggest thing about this Dasani water. That's why it's bad for you. We're paying for it. Why are we buying water that is putting us in hospitals? Why are we buying water that is creating more health, aging, and sickness in the body. That's the seventh reason. All right, so if you made it this far to the end of the video, I just wanna say thank you for watching. Truly appreciate it. If you like what you heard here, pretty sure you don't like it, but if you want to learn more, make sure you subscribe to my channel, wherever that button is, so you can get more of this information. And if you want to know the five properties of healthy water, you definitely want to get into the description and see that link below. And I'm gonna share with you the five properties of a good, healthy water that you actually deserve. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.